Hi guys, Assalamualaikum Okay, today we are going to study about graph coloring Okay, let me, let me see what is vertex coloring So, if we have a vertex, we have a graph Okay, we want to find a vertex coloring That is, we want to label Labeling the vertex set of F And the labels are called colors and no two Adjacent vertices get the same colors. Okay, so let's see what is the what this means. Okay, let's see the first examples. Okay, we label uh, this the first example. We this is a proper coloring with three colors. Where number one is the adjacent to graph 1 so this is we can draw a pink color in the uh, vertex vertex and then uh, 1 and 2 is a neighbor so it's not an adjacent so we put another colors okay and if number 3 we also can put another color or same color with number 2 so this is called a proper color with three colors because here we have three colors. Okay? Okay. What about graph the second graph? This is not a proper coloring because because we said not proper coloring because uh, we have one is called a color same color. So uh, let's see this is a b c D. So A and B is adjacent. Okay. And C and B is adjacent. So B cannot be cannot have the same color. So that's why this is not a proper coloring. It should be the other colors. Okay. So let's see the graph of three. Okay, this is a proper coloring with three colors. Uh, two colors. Okay, because, okay, let's see the first graph. We have uh, the same color, 1 and 1. And we have uh, 2 is the color of 2. Okay, so here we have the only two colors. So this is called a proper coloring with two colors. Okay, a K coloring of graph G is a graph coloring. If a K coloring of graph G is a coloring of G using K colors. If G has K coloring, then it is K colorable. Okay, the chromatic number of graph G, let's say chromatic G, is the smallest k such that the k colorable and chromatic number of g equals to k we say that g is k chromatic so chromatic number that has the smallest k is called chromatic so with uh, the first example is not uh, this is a proper coloring with three colors okay but this is not a, a chromatic number because these have three colors. Okay, but for the graph, uh, the third uh, graph, there is this is a chromatic number because there is two colors. All right. Okay. So example of uh, this graph. Okay, we have P3. This is a graph of P3. If you draw the graph with three colors, okay, one, two, and three. So, you have three colors. So, we say that P3 is three colorable. Okay, you also can color one and one here, red. Because uh, one and one is not the is not adjacent so we can color the graph with the same color okay and number two is adjacent with no with uh, the other colors all right so so means that we have two 
colorable okay so this is this means that uh, between two graph here we said that chromatic number of p3 is equal to 2 p3 is also two chromatic okay 3 is not not chromatic eh 3 is not a chromatic number all right okay we focus if g has n vertices then chromatic number g is less or equal than n okay chromatic g equals to 1 if and only if g has no edges chromatic c to n equals to 2 and chromatic c to n plus 3 equals to 3 okay close so if c to n if c4 okay let's say we have c4 so graph of c4 this is graph of c4 okay graph of c4 if you see here this graph have two this graph have two chromatic number okay so we said that chromatic number equals to two okay if we have graph um c6 okay c2n so if uh, c26 so it's also two chromatic so let me see is it true so six means that you have three six okay six all right so let's see if six we have one two three colors and you also have one two three colors so this is c6 okay c6 and if you see we have a chromatic number of c6 equals to 2 okay but for c2 n plus 1 equals to 3 2 n plus 1 let's say c3 okay this is the uh, c3 so graph of c3 this is graph of c3 so what is chromatic number one oh oh sorry c3 this is c3 one color two color and three color okay three color three color so c3 c3 we have chromatic number equals to three okay let's say we have c5 so this is c5 okay c5 so one two and three and three okay so we have three colors so this is c five okay so three colors so this is true all right okay so this is the chromatic numbers that you must make so if you have you know that if c to n plus one chromatic number is equals to three c to n equals to two all right so if we have a uh, kn kn so what is graph of kn let's say graph of k4 what is graph of k4 this is graph of k4 okay you draw you draw the graph of k4 okay like this and then you found that the graph have okay one so this one is uh let's say we have a b c d so d is adjacent to b so it cannot be it cannot have the same color d also adjacent to a and c so it must be in different color different color with c c different color with a and b 
okay and b and b also different color so so that chromatic number of k4 equals to 4 okay okay if h is a subgraph of g then chromatic number g equals to uh, greater or equal than chromatic number of H. Okay, because uh, H is a subgraph of G. Alright. Okay. Okay, uh, uh, K coloring of G options uh, partitions the vertex set V into K sets where we have V1 to VK where each set v is an independent set this means that v1 v1 uh, to vk equals to v and v1 intersect with vj is no graph for i is not equal to j the incident set of v1 to vk are called color classes okay we can uh, continue in the next chapter, in the next class. Alright.